is growing, right? Because I can imagine this is the very, very beginning of the vision of, of where you know he wants this to go. As his help me, as his wife, um, like how is it that is it because you're operating in your in the fullness of who you are that as, as he's going to be pulled away from the home more because I don't want to be fake and act like that that isn't a concern because I am quality time you know so my question is as is like what do you what do you do do you talk about what's too big do you talk about what's away too much do you you know, and then bump that up against what is going to be necessary, what it's going to take to get to the place that you want to, that he wants to get to, or that you all want to. Get to. Yeah. So that's that's a great question. I I will say that in in the very beginning, when he said to me, I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm changing my major and I'm going to do communication, and and I was just like, what's happening? But <laughs> and then after he graduated, and then he started the whole coaching, consultant, and everything, um, it, it was a little difficult for me because of all the hours it took. And I knew that he was just starting out and he was building something. Um, and so I knew that there had to be some sacrifice on my end um, in order for him to fulfill this dream um, that would eventually become, you know, our, our legacy, our, you know, it would encompass our family, um, you know, his daughter now is doing, you know, a podcast with him, you know, videos, uh, our seven-year-old wants to get in on the whole podcast thing, you know, it, it, it was definitely going to take over our entire family, and so we did have a conversation about that, but it, my whole thing is, I, I've never been of the entrepreneur mindset, and I've always worked in corporate America, and I like that whole nine to five thing. Why? Because I am a structured person. I'm a turtle. So I like the stability. And security. And the security. And my 401k. And, and, <laughs> and the health insurance. <laughs> and the, the perks that right. I get at my job. And, you know, all of that. So I like that whole structure of corporate America. And I, didn't, I never wanted to give that up. Because God forbid this thing should go south. I kept thinking in my back of my mind, at least we have my job to fall back on, you know. And I had been there for so many years. So it was it was really difficult in the beginning to wrap my mind around what he was doing. And to fully 150%, or like as we like to say in BU 120, uh, support his his dream of, of this entrepreneur lifestyle and, and what he was going after. But as I saw how successful he was he was being and the lives that he was changing and that he was truly, truly walking in his gift and how happy it made him, how how fulfilled it made him, and he himself changed the trajectory of our of our family and our life only because I I saw firsthand that God was speaking to him, and so because of that, it made me change my whole outlook on it, and and truly said to my to you know I had to get over the fear factor because this right here is not me. I I honestly y'all <laughs> if you would only know. Literally, if I spoke in a, if I spoke to five people, my heart would be beating so fast and so like out of like I would even be able to get two words out because I'd be so incredibly nervous because I don't I don't like to speak in front of people, especially people I don't know like that. I was speaking you know with my family and stuff, but not people I don't know. And so this you know he kept saying people people need to hear from you, faith. People need to hear from you. We if we do we're gonna do this marriage thing. People need to hear from you. Marriage is not one person; it's it's both of us. And I kept saying, "Well, I'm not I'm not the up person in the front. That's you. You go, and I'll take care of the events, and I'll be in the back, and I'll do whatever I need to do administratively. But I'm not the person in the front. But when I definitely saw what was going on, and and I could see now, I could see the light at, at the end of the tunnel, and I could see the bigger picture." Of what he was trying to create and that's when God truly spoke to me and said you have to move with your husband you have to be on one hey, hallelujah <laughs> because if you if you 
don't, this, this is not, this is not going to work. And your gift, like, like we've been saying this entire day, will make room. It will, it will make room for you. It will, it will open up doors. So when you start working, working in your gift and doing your thing, separate from your husband, you both be blessed together because my gift is to be the structured, detailed person. So now I see myself as one day leaving my nine to five that I've been there for almost 15 years and saying, I'm going to run your business. I'm going to be the administrator, the director of operations. I'm going to create the events. I'm going to do all of this with our team together so that we can do this together so that our family can travel together. Because in the beginning, yes, he would go off and do these conferences, and then I'd be stuck at home with the kids, and you know, in my going to work and taking them to daycare and school and everything. And I said, you know what? This this doesn't have to be this way. I could one day see myself leaving and joining him, and then we can do this as one family and travel together to these locations as a family. So that's that's what really, really walking in your gift will do because it will really solidify the meaning of being on one accord. Yeah. So, right. so, this is the reason why it's important. The word declares that when you find a man who's diligent in his work, he shall stand before kings and not mean men. When I was operating in my gift, the first time that I ever did, Ian and CJ brought me on as the director of Thank God I'm Married for ETN. That's where I served at on my job, per se, outside of my regular business. It brought me into the company of Jamal. I don't want to put Jamal and Camille on Front Street, but they do some major things in terms of real estate, right? Operating in your gift. The first time I saw Jamal was in San Francisco. Was that the first one or was it Miami? I don't know. It was one of them. And Jamal and Camille were at every marriage conference that we ever did. Sooner or later, we ended up becoming close. We started having, me and Jamal started having some conversations. I'm telling you that these one year vacations, you start bumping into people and doing something because you're operating in your gift. Now remember, I know that this is not going to sustain us for the rest of our lives, but the investments that I'm doing with April and then right now, <laughs> I got a plan, remember, you have to see it, smell it, and taste it all as though it already happened. Remember, your mind can't tell the difference between a real life experience and a synthetic experience. But once you can make that synthetic experience real such that you can see it, smell it, and taste it, it's nothing that you can't do. That's why vision boards are so important. Sit down, take some time, use your resources, create a vision board every day. Look at your vision board and start repeating to yourself affirmations about what you want to do. I am a coach. I am this. I am whatever it is that you want to be. Start affirming those things to yourself and keep God first in that process and watch it come to fruition. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm sitting here. I'm not supposed to be doing this. And I'm watching all of these. I'm here sitting on a panel with some like for real. Which, I, okay, she fine. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, I, I got a second chance. Right? And I'm making the best of my second chance. Why? Because I'm being intentional, deliberate, we live in this thing by design and not by default. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Quest Man, professional marriage and life coach. Listen, one of the things that we've always tried to do here, or one of the major themes here at the greenhouse, right, or in the work that I do, is to concentrate on love, lifestyle, and legacy, right? And for the purposes of lifestyle, we wanted to create merch that is consistent with our ideas and beliefs as it relates to marriage. So listen, guys, you can see I got on the Tribe Called Marriage, uh, you know what I'm saying, Raglan shirt, Tribe Called uh, Marriage hat, and we have that and tons more merch in the shop. Do me a favor, if you like what we're doing and you like the merch, do me a favor, stop by, get some for you and your wife and support the movement, you feel me? Because if you're not working on your marriage, my friends, then what are you doing? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Quest. Peace.